Hello and welcome along. How we doing everybody? Hope you're all having a good time. My power, as you can probably tell, is back on. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. That was a fun 24 hours. So power went off at about uh, 1 p.m. yesterday. J KJ Wiggins, thank you for the five picture. You are awesome. So uh, power went off at about um, uh, 1 p.m. yesterday afternoon. It came on again for about 10 minutes and then went off again. Um, and then just before last night's stream, uh, it came on and just on long enough for me to think I might be able to stream. I started up the stream and the power died and it didn't come back till lunchtime today. So, uh, yeah, we're all okay here. We're all good, but it's been a fun 24 hours. As a result, that's why there was no video today on uh, on YouTube. Uh, and what I will be doing is probably doing the last little Norton video tomorrow. And then we'll have four episodes of uh, Six Ashes next week. Uh, and two episodes of the new roleplay. So uh, that that should then let me catch up. I think is probably the best way to do it. Um, otherwise, it's Six Ashes tomorrow, Little Norton Monday, and and then continuing from there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how far I get with the recordings and things tomorrow. Because I want to finish off the studio tomorrow as well. So as I said in the description for this, uh, the new studio is nearly here. I have one. Uh, I have some paint touch-ups to do. I have the skirting boards to paint. Uh, and I might have another um, uh, another coating to do on the roof, uh, on the ceiling, uh, but we'll see how we are in the morning. But uh, by hopefully by lunchtime tomorrow, all the painting will be finished, uh, and I can get the desk and the setup and everything in there. And uh, and yeah, by tomorrow night, I might be able to stream uh, from the new studio. Uh, I'm not going to promise Sandy Bay tomorrow night, just because. If I'm not set up in the new studio, uh, then uh, I need to, you know, I, I won't be able to do it. And I don't want to promise it again. Tuesday night is when I'm looking to do Sandy Bay. Uh, and by hook or by crook, I will be doing Sandy Bay on here on Tuesday night for the Realism Experiment Multiplayer. So Multiplayer, guys, Tuesday night is the, the next time I'm planning for it. So, shall we say it's a low to everybody in chat? Uh, hello and welcome along to uh, 123 JCB13, Evan J. Hart, uh, Netsound19, welcome along, uh, Paul Sinclair, welcome along, uh, KJ Wiggins has said welcome along, 4TFFSS, welcome along, Slow Farmer20, welcome along, Slot Farms, welcome along, you baller. Uh, <laughs> we, 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 uh, Eugene Creel, welcome along. Uh, is that everybody? I think that's everybody. So let's switch over. And I'll switch into the game, which is ready to load and ready loaded. And I think we're going to be doing some seeding on here today. If I remember, we ran out of time to do seeding last time. I would like more than 30 now. Oh, I'm, this is why I wanted to be in the new studio. Because <laughs> right now, I have got 20 FPS. Right, what do we need to do? We have cows. Cows need straw, clover silage, and any... Oh, we might have some maize silage. Let's go get that sorted and started. Right, well... Right, step out, step in. There we go. Have I got, I've got Photoshop running. I don't want Photoshop running. That is going to kill... Yes. Close that. Anything else, Ronnie? Nothing else, Ronnie. Oh, I sorted all my audio issues out from yesterday as well, which is good. <laughs> what? Right shape doesn't have required vertex. Okay. It could be this little 7810 causing us issues, you know. Evening, Tim Woodhouse. We might have to replace it with a T4 or a, T, uh, a T5. 
which you don't want to do, but... What's the plan today? So, plan to begin with is we're going to go and feed our cows. So, uh, that means clearing them out, giving them uh, giving them some feed. They need both clover silage and, uh, and silage silage. You got the real, the real estate seed mod is a fantastic mod. Before I go any further. Let's get some light in here, shall we? It's early in the morning. There we go. That's better. Right. So. Right down. Yeah, that's picking that up. Good. Messy cows. Let's see what we got over here then. Uh, I have not tested the Herbis trailers yet. No, uh, JCB. I, as I said, I haven't had power for the last 24 hours. So, uh, right, we want one of these. There we go. I did somebody see somebody play the FSL with keyboard um, for their front loader once. Which was just, yeah, crazy. I think actually, I think it was FSL. I think it was um, the Farm, uh, Farm Sim Championship. The FSL's precursor. Or what was the Farming Simulator League Season 1. There we go. Right. Okay, that gives them a good amount of that. Now, do we have actually any maize silage at this point that we can use our silage fork for? Also, I want to go and get that drain. Oh, I meant to get the drain mod. Uh, um, <coughs> fermented maize silage, yes. Look what we have. We can feed cows. Whoops. This has 700 litres. What's the drain mod do? It allows you to flush away liquids from um, uh, liquid tankers. So, uh, specifically water. So if you want to empty your water tanker to, to deliver milk to sell, you can. Uh, rather than just emptying it on the floor. Which I think you can also do. Right, how's that done them? Uh, oh wow, this is this is not the piece of kit to do this with. <laughs> we want to go and get us. Uh, we want to go and get the JTB for this. Right, how are they for water? Uh, water they could do at the top. Up. Was gonna get that mod. It does look like a cool mod. How much milk do we have now? 9,000 litres. So we've got half a tanker of milk at the moment. Uh, ooh, why do, can I not see what that was? Because follows and hosts are turned off. Oh, the Merlot. I forgot to download the Merlot. I'm a fool. We want the Merlot on this map. 
We will be getting the Merlot on here tomorrow night. <laughs> it was a host. Oh yeah, Paul Sinclair 71. Thank you for the host. You are awesome. Hey, Jesse Evans. Welcome along. Let's have 19. Thank you for those as well. You are awesome. And Bradley Rangeley, thank you for the host. You are awesome as well. Oh, I'm looking forward to doing my new layout. The, the layout in here is going to change a little bit. We'll have more information in less space. Wow, they're going to take all of this. They are going to take all of that. They take a lot of water in 24 hours, these uh, cows. We always spend a little bit of time at the start of these streams sorting it out. There we go. Yeah, there's going to be a few pictures, I think, out on my Twitter tomorrow. Um, covering the... Uh, Covering the studio. We basically have to fill these cows up every day. Because otherwise, they just end up running down. And then we need straw and we need, uh, we need maize silage. Have I got the new T7 net? No, because we've got the superior one. Oh, well, I, actually, have I bought an ET7? Yes, I have. We've got a... Um, how much do they need, roughly? Uh, maybe 10,000. Okay. Um, we have got a new T7 on here. Uh, we're going to be using it in a minute, actually, to do the uh, straw. So, uh, that should be good. I think that's enough. Then we can just leave this to fill up. Have I been up too much today? Uh, yeah, I went. Uh, so I've done two coats of paint on the studio. Uh, I've been over to my dad's, uh, my dad's house to see him. Um, I because. Uh, obviously worried we're going to get locked down again. Uh, I have um, actually that's pretty much all I've done today. Sounds like not much but it is. Uh, they only needed 4,000. That's good. Tank, paint the tank blue with white decals or wheels. Nah, the, the tank is fine as a oh, in, this, uh, in this format. fit between there. Not that fat. There we go. Um, in Greenwich Valley try to cover your... What have you done to your combine pool? Can't wait for little autumn maze pass. It is a fantastic map. I don't know why... I, you know what? I have no idea why people, why people have stopped watching that. I was having a huge amount of fun with that series. And people just stopped watching. So, uh, yeah. We've got to go with something new. You haven't. I, I know you haven't, Evan. I meant people in general. I still get some viewers, but uh, yeah. 
We've got so oh wow. So whoever's asking, uh, who's asking about uh, Bradley? Yeah, new T7. There is the new T7. In all their glory. Oh, we've got all the lights on on the. Turn those off. Yeah, there we go. Lights. No, oh, we got the lights off on the uh, on the other tractor. We we'll probably turned the lights off on the barn, but the other lights are still on, so not too worried about that. But we don't need the lights on on the tractor at the moment. Oh yeah, we have got the uh, we've got the plow back here because we're going to need that in a bit as well. We might well go and set that up while this is doing. Nope, the back. We'll fill this up with some fuel on the way. Seeing as it's under quarter of a tank. Ah, you meant there's something, yeah. We might repair this tractor quickly as well. Probably the plow needs a repair too. I've got two T7s, yeah. I've got a T7 190 with 175 horsepower. Uh, and I've got a T7 uh, 220. That needs a repair. And that needs to repair. Keep those two running. We live near a BGA and they have so many TC. Yeah. You tend to find farms do have two of one type of tractor or another. So. And we've got an old T7 and new T7. Farmer starts potatoes. That doesn't surprise me. It is a potato time of year. Course generation. Field 25. Headland. Four of them. Do the up downs first. Smooth turn. Working with. Is the, the working with of this plow is not two meters. Point nine, that's what I thought. Generates. There we go. You get a worker doing this. Yeah, so, uh, we, yeah. Slightly widen that. Oh, look at that. to the field. Okay, you're going to do it that way, are you? Fine. We'll leave you to go at it. Hello, Massey Lee Gaming. Welcome along. How are you doing? Wow, Ginny was right. You don't notice those crow sounds are missing until 
You have the crow sounds in there. Right. Uh, we are what this way. What have we got in the front of that? Okay, it doesn't matter. Rick464, thank you for subscribing and tier one. You've been subscribed for six months. And you're on a six month stream. Welcome along, Rick. How are you doing? Hope things are going well. Seen lots of the Cabernet and Plaza not. We had those, we had those, but the, the ones you pull along on the farm. Yeah, we always had one of those running by. Which is why I love that plough so much. Okay, it wasn't fixed on it like that is, but it's still cool to have that on there. Alright, let's turn this off. Got the new Merlot. I want the new Merlot. We want to replace this for the Merlot. Um, this is how much is this worth? So yeah, this is only worth thirty-two thousand. So it's going to cost us sixty thousand to upgrade our uh, our um, thing. What am I leasing at the moment? So at the moment, least we have. Uh, least, please. Uh, the matter to the, um, the straw sprayer and the, um, uh, and the fuel tanker. Probably actually return the fuel tanker, except it's full of fuel. And therefore I don't want to. Plus, we've got to buy a new, um... We need to buy a new uh, uh, baler. Do you need stuff unlocked? Can these get nicked? No. <laughs> no, Jesse, they don't. You only need the 7810 that has a trailer hook. I know, but I quite like having a ton of handler and a. And a, a, a muck out tractor. You are right, I don't need both. Close. Very close. Uh, you DM me on Discord? Uh, I think so, Adam. What, recently? Hello, Chris, uh, Christian Spore. Welcome along. Three bales in there. That is all good. We're going to need the bucket next, so we'll uh, we'll take this back to the shed. Oh, am I looking forward to having the joystick back? Yes. 
like a week ago. Okay, I'll, uh, I think so, Adam, but I'll, uh, sorry. It's been a, a harsh 24 hours. Evening, Farmer Stew. What happened to four guys last night? I had a power cut, and my power didn't come on until lunchtime today. Yeah, I got 10 minutes into last night's stream and then the power went. Home World Farm has been released. What? On. Where's that been released, Evan? That wasn't a Mods Hub release today. Oh, right, yes, no, I remember, Adam, yes, 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 absolutely, FSUK modding, thank you, Sloth, FS, somebody, has somebody actually revived FSUK after that disastrous switch somewhere else? Or is this completely unrelated? Bullet Bill is on. I'll have to check it out. Do you, do you think somebody realised? I loved FSUK. I don't understand what they did. Uh, power outage. Um, yeah, no, no. Proper power outage. Bad weather took out uh, took out a lot of power in, uh, around my area. There are places that are still without power. Lots of battery. Oh, I'm going to have to check this site out. FS, oh really? FS Nation has been shot. Oh my god. That lasted long. Oh, does that what? That's what I was seeing. I saw some people doing messages about that. That explains a lot. Wow, I am. It's only nine o'clock and I'm already opening my can of Coke. I'm going to have to have a break and grab more Coke halfway through this stream. I'm really thirsty. So what comes from having no power and drinking no to your coffee? I hadn't, I hadn't even realised that it had gone. But that, that, to me, that just screams. Wow. I had no idea. I mean, in all fairness, there were lots and lots of people who said, this is a really bad idea <laughs> at the time. Because the great thing, I, the, the trouble is, Unless somebody's taken a backup, FSUK had so many mods for Pry Games. I mean, it was it was an absolute gold mine. If you wanted to go back and play FS13, you could get all the FS13 mods off uh, off there. Uh, we're gonna we switch. Didn't we? I need this here. Yeah. 
Yeah, you see, we can get 2,600 meters of, um, of stuff in this. We may... I may consolidate. How much, actually? I know I don't want to get rid of it. But it doesn't make a lot of sense to keep it at this point. Uh, so we got that. Uh, how much is our 7810? 10,000. So that would... That would take it down to 50,000 to update our telehandler. Hey, RedRust92. Maybe after this year's harvest we'll do it. I guess because the Merlo, yeah, the Merlo has a PTO on the back, doesn't it? Second team live. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. Yeah, I can't use course play with the 7810, but that's all right. I don't want to. Oh, speaking of which, does anyone know what the problem is between uh, the Huddig with the um, crane arm on it, with the with the basket on it, and seasons? Because obviously, if you if you saw my new forestry season on uh, series on Friday yesterday, um, we've got the one with the uh, with the basket on it, which didn't work with um, which didn't work with follow me. But it also says on the listing, don't use it with uh, seasons, and I don't know what the problem is. Hey, Canadian gamer, welcome along. Way, come on. You got your ah, oh, you've got your first crown before I did, Canadian gamer. That's not good. Three bugs uh, found for the hunting. When you're inside the lift basket and change drive direction, the character can bug out. Yep. Some attachments in front and some back may move at the same time. Yep. If you change selection to a tool, the control group will change the name to no. Yep. I saw that one. Uh, this is all the bugs that are caused by the game engine, so nothing can fix your answer where the issue and maybe fix the upcoming issue. Yeah, but on the listing, I can't show it in here. Uh, let me uh, let me just pop out. Unless they fix this, but they hadn't fixed the one with follow me. There we go. North Modding Company, Scarab Pack. That should be the easiest way to get to it. So. Unless it's been. Yeah, Huddig Lift version does not work with Seasons or Follow Me mods. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I might switch out for the city version uh, next time. Uh, but yeah, it's basically this line here. And I don't know what's wrong with seasons, what it might break on seasons. So I think I might have to switch it. Oh, that's what... Oh, you on Sandy Bay, yeah. Dalton's getting another update. Good. It's an awesome map. I don't know whether I'm ever going to be able to play it. I think we might go to back to some of these when... Um, if... If this version of the game starts grinding down. I do need the Velo Telehandler. And we are going to uh, switch this JCB out for it. Uh, but uh, we don't have the 90,000 to do it at the moment. Chase3030, thank you for the follow. Welcome to VFN. Yeah, you see this will take only a couple of these. Whereas we'd have been here all day with them. Yay. 
kind of hoping I've got enough in here, but this gets deeper, so we'll be okay. I fall in love with that Merlot. I love that Merlot. We had a Merlot on my dad's farm. That's why I want the Merlot. Ethan Seago. Welcome along. Yeah, it does. It doesn't have quite a fuller range as some of the other stuff. There we go. That'll do. Now. I have power. Hey, Super Crazy Mark. Yeah, it came back on at lunchtime today. It was nuts. I think it came on at, oh yeah, came on at about 3 a.m. last night. And went immediately off again. And then, yeah, came on at lunchtime today. So it'd been on and off since lunchtime yesterday, which was just, oh, was worried for the stuff in my fridge and freezer, but it seems to be okay. But you don't, until, until the electricity goes off like that, you don't realize how much, exactly how much you rely on it in your home. It is absolutely nuts. Um, you know, we had no heating, we had no, uh, I couldn't like, well, I could have lit the gas burners on my, uh, on my hob, but I would have had to use a match for it. Um, and one of our toilets stopped working, because it has a ma macerator in it. It's things like that, it's just nuts. And then, and then phones, I had to run my car for an hour this morning just to charge my mobile. <laughs> It is. You are absolutely back in the same age. Need to get the electrician to put in a generator hookup. Well, yeah, the crazy thing is we have solar panels on the top of the house. But, of course, they don't feed into our power. They feed into the power lines and then it comes back to us. Yeah, if it's um, it might be a good way to highlight the new site as well. So we might, I might have a look. See if we can uh, make up for the no video today with a uh, map tour tomorrow. Oops. Put the handbrake on. Ah, uh, oh yes, we had ended up with a mini VF in the um, in the bed with us last night. Mini VF one. She uh, she didn't like it without the lights, so she ended up in our bed last night. Um, these are the bales from the D one thousand baler by Four D Modding. They are smaller. Ooh. This is throwing bales up. Uh, now I'd like to get the newer Merlots, the case. Oh, nice. Right. Up. Down. Up. Keeps chucking that top bale up. Those are in there. That's good. This can go back in the shed. And we can go seeding. Yeah, my wife didn't get much sleep last night because uh, cause Mini VF was in the bed. I think to remember with this JCB, it doesn't have a self-leveling front. Like uh, most of the other telehandlers in game. 
Which I think is realistic to this telehandler. There we are on standard speed. I have not heard about the 3080 problems. I am now wondering what the problems of 3080 are. Why is gas train sitting in the bushes? Because that's where I've parked it. In the bushes. Cards are crashing, really? That's not good. See, this is why it's this is why it's a good idea not to always be an early adopter. Apart from the fact you pay more, um, you also you get you, you you hit all the bugs and problems early on. That we've filled it with straw. There we go. We're going to park this up. And then we'll go and find our other T7, which should be waiting for us in the other shed down the roadway. I mean, I'm looking, I'm looking to see what FPS boost we get, if any, when we're not streaming and recording on this laptop and we're just playing. Hello, Boom Confetti. Welcome along. How you doing? I'm going to actually park this in front of the bales because we're never going to use these bales without getting this out first. Right, and then this could go back in the shed. You see, this is why we've got three tractors. Because we've got this running around the yard. We've got the, uh, we've got the TW25 doing the plowing. And we've got the... Um, the other one, uh, and we've got the uh, other T7 that's going to be going seeding, and we can send it seeding. So that's why we have. Mind you, having said that, if we were to clear out, uh, if we were to sell the 7810 and the Merlot, uh, and the JCB and get the Merlot, the Merlot has a rear PTO, and we could probably run all this equipment with it. Back before breakfast, we used to use gas stove a bit hard. Stupidly dependent on electricity. And I'm annoyed there are several things I have in place to make sure if I ever have a power cut that, uh, that we're okay. Um, and I would have been alright had I actually had them in place. So, for example, we were, oh, we were trying to find a torch. So eventually got a torch. Um, then my uh, my power pack for my phone, which will charge my phone twice. So it would have been absolutely fine for this period. Um, that went down. Uh, that was powerless. I'd left that in a coat pocket since uh, March. And so that had no power to it. And it was just, yeah, lots of things like that. Right, we have canola in this. Hopefully we have enough canola in this. do is unfold oh. 
Oh, let it unfold. Then this little extra bit here. Just gonna seed this in to that point. And looking at the direction that this field has been seeded, I'm gonna complete oh, plowed, I'm gonna completely ignore it. <laughs> No fields of bouncy castles yet, I'm afraid, uh, Limey. No fields of bouncy castles, because I've not let Super Crazy Mark on here. Alright. Plus, you can't do fields of bouncy castles on here. Uh, Alright, let's get the... Uh, yeah, let's get that turned on. Let's... Set our first point. Drop that down. And away we go. And hopefully, we then can go that, that, that. And this will go on to 25. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go across the plough furrows, but never mind. Not a lot of room to maneuver on this field either. That's alright, because this maneuvers quite nicely. And away we go. Uh, I'm not putting in tram lines, no. Uh, Ruff, Roughnik10. Well, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. Uh, look at links in Discord. Okay, will do. Don't know why that dropped to 9 FPS then. Any indication? No. Didn't need it. No, didn't need to line this field. We need to go and line field six. No, no, we don't need to line this field. In fact, now you've said that. Don't tell me I need to line this field. No, doesn't need lining. Whew. Yeah, that's it got ploughed north south. I'm I'm doing it north east southwest. What's up, JCB? Home world will break for MP map at some point. Well, we've we we want to finish off Sandy Bay, and then we're going to go for the Alpine one for that. Which fields, JCB? The field. What about the fields?
Not a huge. It's a four. Oh, it's a four times, is it? See, I don't tend to play many four times maps. The last one I did was uh, when we did Lancy Boys uh, map. Wow, a 70 acre field. Wow. That's big. This is definitely the better way to do this field. This field is much better shaped to this. Bet the prices are a bit mad at that. I bet the, yeah, I bet the prices are really nice. Like six meters is small, wow. Having seen six meter drills in real life, they are not small. <clears throat> Some are one to two acres, so yeah. They're not big, but... The pig show too. Wow, that is... Whoa. That is huge. Coming raid from Mr. T. Mr. T is awesome. I saw you playing farms tonight, T. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, 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 raiders. How many to send me my 40 people raiding with Mr. T? Mr. Twitch partner, Mr. T. How you doing, everybody? Welcome along, Drewski. Sean Game 47, welcome along. Ah, uh, plays with you better. Uh, that makes uh, that makes sense. Lady Tegan, welcome along. Oh, that yeah, we should hit seventy-five viewers. We should hit a hundred viewers for the first time in a while. Hello, Sean Game forty-seven Voxball, welcome along. Hundred viewers, time for a ticket draw. You have one hour, people. <laughs> Galcom Gamer, thank you for gifting three months of tier one sub to uh, Mr. Twog68. You are awesome, my friend. Thank you very, very much. Ooh, come on, line him up. Line him up. There we go. Uh, guys, go check out Mr. T. If I haven't already said it, and I haven't already... I think I linked him already. But anyway, go check out Mr. T. He is an awesome, awesome streamer here on Twitch. A, uh, a Twitch partner. And, uh, and uh, yeah, he does have a little bit of fruity language. But otherwise, great guy. Ah, no problem, T. I enjoy your stuff. Many farm trucks. So, uh, so it has, so it has far actual farms rather than fields connected by main roads, which is my new description for any map that, that doesn't have farm tracks. Um, Killer Switch six eighty, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. Let's get this lined up. This is a pretty big field. And away we go. I don't ever swear, honest. <laughs> he speaks as Queen do. T speaks the perfect Queen's English. 
True fact. Uh, oh, I do like a good T7. Look at that. I'm not sure. What, I, I think I like the new shape a bit more. But uh, I do like that T7. That is a nice bit of kit. <laughs> oh, man. I think that field is big yet. Uh, no, I know. I know this field is not big. Well, this field is big for the realism experiment. We got a lot of sugar beet off here. We've done bigger fields in these streams. We've had fields where we've had to have four Lexians. New series idea. What's that, JCB? Got bigger feels. <laughs> Thank you, Mickey. I know my fields are small. Oh, I do. I, I cannot get over how much those, those crow sounds add to the game. Multi. Oh, I'm, oh no. I'm not, I'll just play a time lapse. Time lapse just don't do well for me. People don't watch them on my channel. Matty373, my witch. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFM. Yeah, people don't watch time lapses on my on my channel. Absolutely, Vox Ball. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh man. So I had to find the time it all round, which is hard. Yeah. I do record at crazy times. It would have to be. The only way I can get lots of people in one place is to do live streams. Uh, and then it just gets difficult. I s still want to do more con contracting. But we just can't get us in the same. Online at the same time. I might do, I'm looking for another map tour to do because map tours are doing well on the channel. So I like I like doing them and putting them out there. So we might I'll see how I am time wise. No, no, I know it's not actually connected to the old FSUK, but there's a gap in the market and somebody's grabbed it, so it doesn't surprise me. Especially if the old FSUK and its successor have now disappeared. It doesn't surprise me that somebody's jumped on it and, and grabbed. You know. The FSUK thing. Lexi, ah, uh, ah! I need to, I need to send a message. I knew about FSUK modding. Somebody sent me a message. I need to reply. Uh, just to review so and keep the Alpine one for streams. Yeah, that's the trouble. I can't. I couldn't. I couldn't find the time to um, to record it. That's the trouble. Hello, Luke Dillon, uh, ten twelve. Welcome along. Uh, she is seeding nicely. She is seeding very nicely. We are not using seeds very fast, which is good because well, this is canola, so we'll get all of these into this field. You know what the biggest problem we're going to have when I go back to wheel and um, and side panel is? Remembering what my keys are. I... It will probably be a site I trust sloth. The problem is... Uh, the problem they'll find is they'll get less exposure. Because the, the advantage of releasing to the in-game mod hub is... 
that you uh, that you can A, get on console, and B, your stuff is in the game. Hey, Sniper Al, welcome along. So, uh, I, I wouldn't say no, that's, that's, you know, if they want to release that, that's, that is their prerogative. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think they'll find that their maps get less exposure as a result. Am I an MP tomorrow night? Um, probably not, uh, Jason. I'm I'm not going to promise MP tomorrow night just in case I can't get uh, the studio finished. Or can't get the studio set up because it won't be finished until I've got all the, the shelving up and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, I can't guarantee it will be done. So I want to make sure that it's... Uh, Make sure it's all done before I promise that. I might be on it. I'm basically this setup here. I am going to leave, leave alone until I am absolutely ready to transfer everything over to the other, uh, other room. Um, so I'm going to set up the main computer and everything in there first. Um, the only thing is I've got to mount this monitor here. This is my best monitor. That needs to go in the middle uh, mounting in the new studio. So yeah, once, once I'm at that point, I'm committed. Hello, weatherman today. Welcome along. How you doing, Mr. Uh, fellow Ambassador? Ooh. There we go. Alternating multiplayer series may be a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm going to stick with where I am. As I said, I don't tend to do well with... Um, I don't tend to do well with uh, time lapses. Maddie Baby 45, welcome all. Uh, thank you for the host. You are awesome. So, uh, Homeworld would be an exclusive. It's probably to kickstart it. We'll get people go over and create. Yeah. I might. I, 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 I'll go and take a look at it. And if it's a good map, I will go and do a. Uh, I'll do a first look on it. Because I won't have another map first look to do for Monday. So, well, I do. There's a couple of maps I, I want to do first looks on, but not had the chance yet. Uh, for example, Red Dirt, sh Red Dirt, whoops, Red Dirt map. I want to go and do a first look on Simon 101. Thank you for the 200 bit cheer. You are awesome. I didn't like what's going on. Why are you going down to 13 FPS? I'm looking at something. I need to look this way because there's something when I look that way. Well, it's the yard, but something isn't right. Don't think I will get old anytime soon, Mister. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm actually. I'm actually. My new layout includes the ambassador logo. Um. Any more news on precision farming? Nope. I have no news on precision farming at all. Nafes. Nafes, thank you for the follow over on YouTube. Welcome to the BFM. Oh, thank you for the subscribe over on YouTube, I should say. Yeah. I've got to... I need to have it in place before I start um, streaming from the new studio. That is the thing that worries me the most about getting into there tomorrow. Um, I've got a lot of work before I can stream from the new studio. Uh, it should have. Although I can't see any at the moment. It might have. I don't know. We haven't had it that long, to be honest. Only 13 hours. Oh, this little row of... Uh, failed um, stuff really tells me exactly where I need to stop. And where I need to start. Good. 
So you start with the 6R, 6R, 8R, 6M. Um, I've no plan. I, I want to play Among Us. Among Us is a cracking game. I just don't know when to play Among Us. I think it, uh, yeah, it would be a lot of fun to play it. Um, we've got Full Guy Fridays at the moment. So, uh, as I said, Fridays won't be farm sim. Um, my plan is always on a Friday to do something other than farm sim. Uh, whether that means eventually I'll play Among Us or, or, uh, something else. I want to, I want to play. I really, really want to play some Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead has just had, or Left 4 Dead 2 has just had a massive update. It's a game I love. And, uh, yeah, I would really, really like to play some of that on here. Which may not be a PG stream because I will get sweary. Plus, it's not overly a PG game. Oh, yeah, that doesn't give me enough space to turn around. Uh, am I? Yes, I am. Um, I can, I can, I can say that because if you go onto Giants Discord, it tells you that I'm one. Uh, but it's not been announced via the website yet. But yes, I am. I am one of two uh, farm sim uh, ambassadors for the UK. The other one being uh, FS Club. Thank you, Yuji. I think it's a good group of people that uh, Giants have assembled for that. There's a there's a, a good a good set of creators uh, who are a part of that program. And I'm getting some of them are, are people I'm just getting to know, who who seem right really great people, and others are people I've known for a while. To the point where uh, just before it was announced, I recommended it to DJ Gohan. I R B nineteen ninety four. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. And there we are. Be on the headland soon. I don't know whether I've got two or three headlands here. But we need to get all these crops in as quickly as we can. Because the sooner we get these in, the sooner... Whoa! The sooner they will uh, germinate. No, that's not what I pressed. See? On to that. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to like it when I've got individual buttons for stuff and not having to press Alt to do things. Because it's just... I catch buttons that I don't want to all the time. Through the hedge. You used a uh, three, three meter cultivator today, it was great. Oh, but there's so many three meter cultivators on the modder. Mind you, I'm, I've got. Oh, I've got a cracking uh, cultivator that I eventually want to get on um, six ashes. 
proper old school will fit that tractor really well and if it and there's another tractor it might fit really well if uh, if we get on there so yeah i'm doing some old school stuff the combine harvester i want to use on there if it works will be amazing Small equipment is a lot of fun. I absolutely agree with you on that. So long as it's uh, so long as it's uh, the right farm. It's all driving on a big tractor. Oh man. Trying to leave one wits worth at the corner of this. Sending the birds flying again. Get out of here, birds. 33 fields spanning. Is that on. Um... Wow. That's as big as my dad's. Uh, one of my dad's farms was. Two and a half thousand acres. You'll be fine doing that with a single TX-36. We did. Hundred and thirty-three fields, that's we had oh wow. Okay, so we should have a double headland here, I hope. So if we start at this corner down here, yeah, we've got a double headland. Yes! It's actually more realistic. I see T7s with, with big stuff. Plough had a bit of an issue in this corner. Oop. Wear textures. Does not the doesn't the T whoa doesn't the T dub we have have wear textures? Alright, we can turn off that because we don't need that on anymore. There we go. Need to get this right, otherwise. I'm gonna leave gaps. I don't wanna leave any gaps at all. This is actually one of my better attempts at doing some seeding. I mean, yeah, the smallest T7 you wouldn't want to put a six meter cultivator on. Because the smallest T7 only has about 150 horsepower. But um, something like this, the 220 or up, yeah, you could put a 6 meter cultivator on that. That's the beauty of the T7. The T7 has such a wide range of power that you have uh, quite a bit of choice with it. Oh, that 
first one, we didn't quite get that right, I don't think. I think we're going to have a lot of work to do in that corner before we can head back. Uh, this one, yes. Uh, we it's a, it's a 220 though, so it's only got 220 horse in it uh, that I've got the set up here. But this one can go above, yeah. Or you can configure it above. I think this might get up to... Actually, I'm not sure this one can. Let me just double check this. Don't think, I know it's a medium tractor. So that's, uh, yeah, that's the one we've got. This goes up to, oh yeah, 310. Yeah, you can get uh, this up to 310, this one. <laughs> Kenneth Whitney, thank you, for the, uh, thank you for subscribing over on YouTube. Welcome to the BFM. No, I've not got that right. Not got that right at all. Ooh. That might swing around. Yeah, that is swinging around a little bit. That's got it. There we go. Right, well, we're already half past twelve. We might get a. Oh no, we need to go lime. We're gonna have to take our uh, Union Jack T7. And, uh, and go and do some lime next. Yeah, is it, it is a cheap 300 horsepower tractor. I'd forgotten that. Hey, Wixabad35, welcome along. How you doing? Oh, can we? So I don't think that. It's going to get all oh no it has it has yes look at that perfect wow i don't have to go and do any fiddling in that corner whatsoever wow just chilling before work nice Right, when we finish this field, I'm going to take a very brief break. I'm going to go and refill my coke. And uh, and then we will be right back. No, I have no plans to get rid of it either T7 on this series. In fact, uh, my, my long-term plans may be to get a third T7. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and go over the 300 horsepower mark on here. Because if we get more fields, we're going to need to do things quicker. And so a uh, an increase in T7 may be something required. And we're just going to lift on this corner here. Because this corner is a weird shape. Because of that gateway. There we go. Much better way for us to have uh, seeded this field than the way it was ploughed. Uh, any future RE maps? Um, realism experiment? No, we're, we're sticking on this for now. Ginger Flips, welcome along. We normally do at least three years. We're on year two. Uh, I have no... There's no map I wish to switch from this, though, at the moment. Maybe if uh, Oxygen David stuff, uh, when that comes out, maybe. I mean, Calms and... Well, I don't know what the realism experiment would be like on there, but we wouldn't restart it. That's the thing. We'd be looking to switch farms. So, um, yeah. Yeah. But I like this map. I like this map a lot. In 
incoming raid from Mad Alex with a party of five. Welcome, 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 raiders. Do I have Mad Alex on here? I do. Go check out Alex. He's awesome. Um, it's a Mad Alex raid. It's a Mad raid. Um, he does have a little bit of fruity language, but that's okay because he's a good streamer. We're going to watch this. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing well, thank you, Alex. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good stream. Uh, 18 plus streamer. Definitely. How you doing with Omega? Hope it's going well. Not bonded. Need to do what to do and make yourself play it. It is, a, it is a good map, this. This farm especially, I love. But all the farms on it are pretty good. Uh, but this, this farm, to me, has the most character of all the farms on this map. And it really does feel like a, a you know, proper, uh, would buy it together farm. Hello, attentions. Welcome along. I hope I have not uh, mangled your name too much there. All right. We need to uh, go and unload the, uh, the seeds from this. And then we can go and put them away. So let's. Right. And then we're gonna have to work out what the next crop we've got to uh, to do is. Uh, but we need to get this all a wash down first because this is very messy. Personally, I've seen it all. Yeah, this is the we well we tried to create one in Greenwich Valley. We were doing quite well. Yeah, still in the bedroom. Um, the uh, the studio isn't quite finished. Hoping to be in it for tomorrow night. We'll definitely be in it for Tuesday night. But uh, I want to be out of here. I want to be out of here tomorrow because my wife wants to use this room to work from. So uh, yeah. Any idea what will happen when well, Slurry Gorts gets full, yours is nearly full? It just won't, you won't generate any more slurry. That's, that's the trouble. Once it's full, you won't be able to generate any more slurry. Don't know what's holding up the updates to this map, actually. Might, um, maybe DD knows. No more hose length. No more coke either. Wash. Come on, wash it. Wash it. That is a little bit caked in mud. Is that even washing it? I'm not sure that's actually washing it. No, I don't think I was doing any washing whatsoever. Right. So we are going to go and do some more seeding in a bit. So we'll go park this up. Uh, what I want to do, though, is bring this this side. Refill the fertilizer and go and get the. Uh, well, actually, what I'll do is we'll leave this for here for a moment. I will be right back. Just gonna go and grab myself another can of Coke. And I'll be right back.
Jesus. And I'm back. Right. Uh, just Hello, Chester and Bold. Welcome along. Should have left you with one of those, really. What the? Hey, Fabi Girl 27. Can't remember if I said hello to you earlier, but welcome. Up. Uh, Evan, no. Um, I can't really. I left the can of the coke in the kitchen because I am an idiot. Oh, I'm getting to touch this one. That's got to be charged. Right, let's head this way and get. We need to see what we're up. We're going to have to spread. Lime next. What are we? You've lost my crop rotation again, you silly, silly. Ah, uh, right. Ralph Martin, fourteen. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFM. How have you lost that? Uh, right. That will then go. Sunflowers after wheat. Then I think it's corn. Sugar beet? No. After sugar beet, it's definitely canola. But we're missing something that takes this to... Barley. Corn, right, here we go. Sugar beet, there we go. That is it. Yeah. So, we want... Yeah, canola was the bottom one. It was, yeah, so that is our setup. Um, we can plant... Barley... We've planted the canola and the wheat. We can plant sunflowers, barley. I would probably go with the barley because it germinates lower or the sugar beet. Sugar beet I want to plant, we can plant late. Okay. Corn we can't plant yet. What's my other one? So, uh, wheat and canola we've planted. We can plant the sunflowers, barley, and sugar beets at the moment, right? I think we want to go for the barley or the sugar beet. And if I'm planting the sugar beet late, then I want the barley next. Process simulation. No winter planting, no, because we uh, we ran out of time. I would like to have done winter planting of the uh, the wheat and the... Uh, the wheat and the um, canola... But uh, we ended up late in the season and uh, and not able to do it. I think the the ground temperature is going to raise to five degrees C by the end of this, so we should be good. 
We should get germination of the crops we're planting today. By next time. It's better if we do if we do the five degrees C stuff, then we definitely will. Uh Flynn Pacey three, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFM. Plan this year is definitely to try and get some winter planting. But as you've seen, the sugar beet, which is always a late... Oh, do you know what? I wonder, actually. I want to swap that. The wheat is always an early cut, so... Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We've got this the wrong way around. Swap those two, they are fine. But we're gonna plant sunflowers after sugar beet because that's a spring plant. That's then a winter plant and hopefully we can get the sunflowers. Yeah, okay. Hopefully that's a better way around. Uh, and it won't make any difference. Uh, we are gonna have to put sunflowers in where our wheat was last year. So we'll stick to the, the current thing there, but. Yeah. Sunflowers in as soon as we can. And hopefully we'll still get the winter wheat in. Right. And our tea dub has finished. Uh, so what am I looking to plant? I'm looking to plant barley, aren't I? Barley follows the sunflowers, so that's all good. Don't know if this will be enough seeds. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna go. So we're gonna set this planting on uh, course play, and then we're gonna go and do the line with the other T7. Probably want to put some more fertilizer in this as well. There we go. The rest of the barley. Oh, we need to go and stop that tea dump first, actually. See, this is. we uh, Strictly speaking, we don't need three tractors. We've done this with tea. Uh, what are those pallets? They are the uh, realistic seeding mod. Wow, this has done a far better job on this field. Actually, let's clear that off. Yeah, far better job on this field than it did on the other ones. Leave that there and wash that later. More land, more seed. More land, more seed or more need? Yeah, if we get, oh yeah, if we get more land, then we will need another tractor. And there will come a time when I go, oh, I need all three of those tractors. Especially, um, especially towards the end of harvest. Uh, yes, this seed mod is on the mod hub. Oh, no, it's not. It's not, is it? No, it's not. Um, where did I get it? I think I might have got it. I might have got it from King's Mod. You're right, Evan. It's not. It's, um... I think I found it on King's Mod. Yeah, it's not. 
Uh, yeah, check out Yes Mods or Kings Mods. I'll be listed on one of those. Holding Seed Planet over. Yes, it will. But I don't like to do it with these because uh, for me that's less realistic. Because you would you would pick bags off and, and fill them. Is that going to take all of this seed? I think it's going to take all of this seed. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, let's go and get some. Uh, it's not on. Why is it not on King's Mod Yes Mod? Uh, if there's a mod in here, could you grab the link? Farming mods. Okay. I'm surprised that no mod site has listed it. Oh no, this one doesn't. We tried this last time. This is not the realistic seed mod, these pallets. Whoa. Other one, please. So it is on Discord somewhere. I do like that this farm has a fertilizer shed. A dedicated fertilizer shed is brilliant. Does it empty it out? Does make it easier for me though. <laughs> then we can go and uh, get this running and then we can go and lime field six. Yeah. Chewbacca Cheese 111, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFM. Yeah, the Mello would do the job better. So would me having a, uh, a proper working joystick. Daily Gator. Uh, is it Daily Gator? My trouble with any JD Gator is, is it's got to be a uh, cracked mod. Which, obviously, I do not condone. Chewback and Cheese 111. Welcome, uh, welcome along. Uh, this is Bessie Beneath. By, uh, by Dusty Day. It is an awesome, awesome map. Oh, that filled it up. Let's get put this back in the shed. Now it should not complain at me. Uh, this is not a console yet, unfortunately, no.
Yeah, because the other advantage of our new T6 is it has narrows on it, which the T dub doesn't, of course, as well. Right, we're going to need this later, I think. I had your third right-hand drive vehicle today. A Range Ro a Range Rover? Is that Evan? You found a Range Rover? That's the right. Please send me link. Want link? Please. Right, two headlands. Finish at this point. Still, fertilizing seed, uh, course generation, 25, two headlands, smooth turn, uh, yes, generate course. That looks a pretty, oh no, generate course, there we go. That looks reasonable. That's my seat that's stuck on the gate. So we close the gate. Now, first waypoint start up. We've got barley in here, which is we want to follow the sunflowers. Isn't it? Yes, because we had some flowers in the canola spot before. So, yeah, we want the barley in here. Hopefully, this won't get stuck on a tree. Need to do uh, G X. There we go. So that's off, and we need to go Lima Field. No. Hello, Danger Engaged. How's it going? Hundred eighty. Wow, 180k, that is ridiculously expensive for a car in this. I'm good, thank you, Danger Engage. I want, uh, I want this track to hear. And then we want to go and get the line spread up. Yeah, the only way, the only official way to get the John Deere Gator is to, uh, is to, uh, buy the DLC from Giants. I have a lime spreader, don't I? Uh, no, not that one. that spread line because I don't have anything else yeah does the sulky spread line uh, 
fertilizer technology. Okay. Fine. I rented it. So this sulky does not spread lime. Let's give it a try before we uh, make absolutely sure of this. No, it doesn't. Okay. We need to go and rent a lime spreader then. Head down the shop and just grab a small one. Don't know why I thought it did. It's a pity I haven't got any of the other lime spreader mods. I do like this T7. This is a very nice T7. Fertilizer, yeah, we've got nothing else in here, just the sulky. So, this customize six meter spreader on it. Yeah, least cost of that is 2400. As you defending coming, it's gonna be like Oh Well as it a uh, mods I take it you mean. Um well, I think I did I have a pop up then? I thought I heard a ping. I missed it. This thing is actually huge. But like, ooh, really? Oh, Evan, I'm going to be all over that. A, 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 a Land Rover Defender version of the, the TLX setup. Yes, please. Absolutely. Oh, I'd be all over that for English maps. I realised that um, on uh, Holmacra, Hol Mac Hol I've got the uh, I've got the TLX. I probably should have had North Mon the Modding Company Scarog on there. What's the best price for selling dairy cows? Uh, it's not a best price. It's a best time. Uh, right. Okay, so that opens that way. Oh, please do, Evan. I'm really intrigued by that. How you doing, Patrick Murray, by the way? Uh, it's 1,200 pounds uh, weight is the best time to sell dairy cows in seasons. DJ 
CG78, thank you for the 10 bit cheer, you are awesome. Let's. Ooh, we have enough space here. There we go. There we go. Does that include the first lot I bought when I started this map? Um, yes. Well, you want to you want to breed them up, but uh, probably uh, if you're if you're fattening cows, yes, definitely. If you're doing dairy, you probably want to hold on to the uh, the heifers. and just sell off the calves when they reach that weight. Because the heifers will be a little bit old. You have 103 years old. Uh, yes, sell them. Uh, yeah, I would. Uh, three years old. What a mine. What a mine. What a mine. Uh, so you can see I've got calves here. So I've got newborn calves. Uh, lots of newborn calves. None of my. Yeah, so these are not worth so much. I would, if you're doing dairy, you want to fatten the calves up. It's about nine months, I think. Uh, about nine months old. Hey, just a little bit. Uh, yes, this is Bessie Beneath by Dusty Day. I need to sort out the map command. I need to do a map RE command and a map MP command, I think. And then our uh, map FG. This is the excellent fool guys. <laughs> Buy it here. Just said to over oh, crumbles, not oxies. There we go. Three more to get in here. I'm only going to put this slot in. I'm not going to refill it up all the way. Because the reason why we have all these pallets of lime sitting around here. Uh, is because uh, we had them. Um, we have to move the tractor. Uh, we, this is all the lime we had left over from the last time. We spread lime. Stop. Thank you. I do realise it's half past ten, but it's only 3.34 in the afternoon in the game. And 
we still have work to do. Probably going to have to look at the bees next time. Oh, giveaway time. Apparently. Yeah, there it is. Closing the giveaway. Let's uh, let's switch screens. Ha ha! Time to give away that, that, no, that, 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 that. Let's draw a winner. Who is today's winner? It is Eugene Creel. Congratulations! Are you still in the chat? Later, Evan. Uh, thanks for joining us. Are you here, Eugene? Are you here? Are you about? You're hit. You're her, right? <laughs> right. Let's mark that as complete. Then and get back to this game. All oh, right. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Congratulations, Eugene. We are going to get that. Of course, I will be drawing it on, I think it's Tuesday night, isn't it? Uh, no, Wednesday night. Wednesday's stream this week. I will draw the winner. Oh, the giveaway. And I'm hoping it's, I'm hoping it's, yeah, there's, there's going to be, I'm giving it away on Steam and apparently Steam's changed their things so that you can only give presents in, or give gifts in the same currency. So, uh, yeah, we're going to, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But Steam is being a pain in the butt, apparently. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, next month is going to be a copy of the Alpine uh, DLC that I will be giving away because that is due for release in November. How we've got hold of that, but not well, is the answer. That is you almost filled. And when this has been filled, we can head down to field six and we're going to do the whole of field six so we do have a small section of it that needs doing but uh, i'm going to do the whole of it just so that we can a use up some of this lime and uh, b make sure that uh, we don't have to do the whole field again soon and this will also stagger when we need to line field which is a good thing to have as well Close that up. Get up. And away we go. We have GPS on this track as well, which is good news. So we've got our wheat field up here this year. Our barley field is where the... Uh, where the sunflowers were, the sugar beet is going to be, oh yeah, the sugar beet's right over, whoops, where the, um, so what's this going to be, this is going to be, after barley we've got, oh, corn, this is going to be the corn field, in here, 
And after the wheat, so that field there is going to be sunflowers. Wow, this is going to be wide. This is going to be very wide. Out there, I think, is where I want this. Turn on that. Set first waypoint. Right. On and go. Yeah, that's about right. There we go. This should be just a single headland when we come to finish it. Now I've made a small mistake in that I have got this to do from the area that doesn't need doing first. I should have started it in the area that we definitely need to do and worked my way back, but never mind. We're not using line that quickly, so we'll be okay. We are doing this job pretty quickly, which is brilliant. That's quite cool. I like taking pictures for um, the weekly farming stuff as well. So I have a nice, uh, nice array of stuff, and I can post that on uh, on Twitter. But I haven't posted anything this week. There we go. It makes much difference. Uh, with the new John Deere spray, no, the new John Deere sprayer is huge and best used for American maps. Yeah, that John Deere sprayer, the the one from uh, Custom Modding, I take it you're talking about, Eugene. Uh, yeah, that that would be. Um, that would be best used on a, a large American map. Ooh.
In the same way as um, we had something similar on um, uh, with Max on uh, New Woodshire. He had something like that. Which is a, it's just a huge sprayer. Oh, out of the hedge. Right, we can turn that off. Because we are going to the back corner of the field. Hoping this this should reach. This should work. And that is this field properly covered. And, uh, and it will just up the yield from the uh, corn next year. Should up the uh, silage money. Don't mind that we've got a little square that's missed. As I said, the whole field does not need doing. And off. And X. And get this back to the shed. Thank you for following, uh, Kamata. I think that is. Welcome to the BFN. C4 Madma is the other way I can say this. This is year two, yes. So this is year two on Bessie Beneath. Uh, it is... Oh, wow, we still have so much line left. Uh, top left. I think it can. I think you can do it in the settings file. Uh, Patrick. Right, we need to unload. I'm going to go and unload this. If I unload this here, it's going to be a pain to, to sort out. So we'll go and unload this round here with all of our other um, bits like this. And then we can return this because we don't need to do any more lime this year. So, yeah. Not got any rain coming, so we can clean this up later. As long as it's not in the way, it'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. Tell the hire company they can come and pick that. Oh, we will just double check. We don't have any more lime to spread. No. Field 9, uh, we could possibly do, but... I'm not too worried about field nine. Um, any lime spreading contract? Can't believe there are harvesting contracts. Uh, harvesting. No, is it dry enough to harvest? It is actually dry enough to harvest. We could go and do a mid-spring harvest if we wanted. Uh, right, so let's return that because we don't need that. Least items. Turn. Right, I'm going to put this tractor away. 
Once then, what we're going to do is uh, check on the progress of our cedar, and uh, and we need to sort out the T dub as well, which needs a wash. How is this tractor doing? Okay, he's not too bad. He's sort of finishing off the far corner by the looks of things. Yeah, so down to that uh, that far corner there. So that's got just the two headlands to do. We want to get this washed. So that's ready and so next time what we want to be doing is uh, crops we've got left to plant we've got the canola the wheat and the barley planted we need to plant the sunflowers the corn and the sugar beet so we'll probably get the sugar beet in next time uh, simply because we can plant that at the moment Oh, actually, we can plant the sunflowers. If the ground warms up enough, I might plant the sunflowers because we want to get them harvested as early as possible. There we go. Next year. Uh, but we're done with the ploughing for this year, so... We can go and put this T-dub back. And this plow back. Which means backing the plow into the shed. And then unfolding it. So on Instagram, a farm in the UK growing sunflowers. Yes! There are plenty of farms in the UK that grow sunflowers. Fold that up. Oh, we need to go and get rid of this baler as well. And I think we have a replacement. Yeah, as much as I like the D1000, I think under Baylor's, do I, do I still have that other option here? Uh, yes. So this, we could get the case version of this, which for £5,900, that would do us nicely. Uh, power requirements 120 horsepower, so we could run that with pretty much everything. So I think we might get rid of this and uh, and swap out. Uh, Lonnie89, thank you for the... Uh, thank you for subscribing on YouTube, I think that was. Welcome to the BFM. Evening, Salasash. Welcome along. Squiffs, thank you for... Uh, welcome along to you as well. Right, three minutes past five in game and got things running nicely. So yeah, we, we want to switch out. I think we'll switch out our... Um... Nope, turn that off. Jump in the T-Duff, please. There we go. Go check our other tractor. Which is, yeah, that is on Headland 1, I think. That go, uh, no, actually, I think that might be on Headland 2. No, that's on Headland 1. Yep. 
Yeah, that's on headland one. So that's going to go around the field once more. What I want to do is get into here. Wow. 81. Really? Why have you not produced more eggs today, chickens? Lots of chicks. Are we up to 200 chickens again? No, we've got 167. So we've got our two roosters. We've got lots of chicks. We've got, we're going to have to go and sell. I need to find out what weight it's good to sell chickens at. Yeah. Now you can see it's come out here and it's come across. And it's doing the second headland. So we're going to go and passenger this. Uh, there. Because that T7 is moving. Slow down into the corner. The latest version of the course play, absolutely brilliant for, uh, for seeding and everything. Does headlands really beautifully now. Um, the thing that one issue I've got with it is that it doesn't seem to cart anymore. Girl named Stu, welcome along. And thank you for the follow, girl named Shu. Welcome to the VFN. Yeah, this corner here is absolutely square. And I'm intrigued to see how it handles it. Yeah, I thought as much. It hasn't gone right into the corner there. Let's, uh, let's stop this. And we'll make sure it goes right into that corner. Uh... Deferred 12 thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFM. And down. Alright. Get the right bit. Down. There we go. That just finish this field off. Clear that. And we're done. Go off, lift, X, X. We are going to have to turn around on the field in order to get out. Uh, what's my preference for drinks? I tend to go with Pepsi Max. Dream streams. Right, so that is half. We're, we're day three of spring and half of our stuff has been seeded. Game of Dragon raiding with a party of ten. Wow, GD, you were going late tonight. Oh, I'm stuck on it. Got a freaking warning sign stuck on the fence post. A welcome along, guys. Go check out Gamer Dragon. He is awesome. Fantastic streamer. All round nice guy. You will not regret checking out GD stuff. Hey, GB modding. Welcome along. Uh, who else do we have? Without, welcome along. Hope you're all good. Right, we need to go and park this seed up. We will be using this next time. So. We'll just park the tractor and the cedar up in this shed. Alright, because we need to switch out the seeds. Have we still got the... No, Talahandra is in the other shed. Uh, what map am I on? This is Bessie Beneath. By uh, 
dusty day. And I love it. I'm sorry I do not speak Brazilian. Or Spanish. I think it's Spanish, isn't it? I don't, I'm sorry. I, English only, please. Right, that is turned off. We want to shut up our sprayer shed. DF is a fool. He does not know what they speak in Brazil. I think it's Spanish, isn't it? English in chat. <laughs> that is an awesome typo, Mystic Smiler. <laughs> right, uh, so we've got no eggs to put away. Our cows are good. We will just double check our animals will survive the night. Yes, they will. So that is all good. And that is the end of another day here on Betsy Beneath. Big fingers. Hey, Mystic and Smiler, I hope you're doing well. Um, we're going to leave this here. So, I want to be on that smart. I want to be on that screen there. Um, yeah, let's save the game. Oh, there's some nice contracts about. Save game. There we go. Head back. We will pause that. Switch out from the second screen. Because I have some thank yous to say. Uh, which is because uh, you guys, as always, have been awesome. So let's see what we've got here. Uh, Gamer Dragon, thank you for the raid. You are awesome. Uh, DG78, thank you for the cheer. You're awesome. Uh, Mad Alex Gaming, thank you for the raid. You're awesome. Uh, Simon101, thank you for your cheer. You are awesome. Galcom Gamer, thank you for your gifted sub. Uh, you are awesome. Uh, Drog68, thank you for uh, your uh, thank you for your raid. You are awesome. Uh, Rick464, thank you for your uh, resub. You are awesome. Uh, KJ Wiggins, thank you uh, for your cheer as well. You are awesome awesome as are all of you thank you for watching you are absolutely brilliant we need to find somebody to raid so let's see who we have hmm. is that who i think that is i think we might go raid someone new tonight Don't give me that. Yeah. Someone with not a lot of viewers at the moment, so I was... Uh... That guy was Brazilian, yeah. I can't remember what they speak in Brazil. That's my trouble. It's not good. Oh, adverts. Go away, adverts. Uh, that might be a little bit too mad. Um, <laughs> who do I go raid? Oh man! Actually, we'll go. We'll go and raid, raid a dead like dead guy UK. Yeah, we'll go raid a dead guy UK. It's, it's doing fun. What? No, hang on. That's 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 flight sim. That's like no. I want somebody playing farm sim, please. Right. Need a farm sim streamer. Let's see who's playing farm sim. And maybe go throw a... Uh, a thing at some... Um... No, I don't want browser. I want follow. Let's see who is playing farm sim. Portuguese. So I annoyed him then. <laughs> FS19. Who have we got? Uh, we've got me. We've got... Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Ah, now I know who we're going to go and raid a fellow ambassador who I am amazed that I am not following. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're going to go and raid a fellow uh, 
farm farming simulator ambassador this is uh in fact this is uh one of the ambassadors for um uh for south africa we're gonna go we're gonna go a pew pass like but we're gonna go and raid where the man said hey he's got seven viewers so let's go and throw those viewers up everybody please uh head over for this um i think somebody just followed did somebody follow did somebody follow did we have a new follow while i was rambling um tomorrow uh should be a video it'll either be six ashes or little norton i haven't decided yet um stream tomorrow night 8 30 uh it will be bessie beneath it may be here in this room or it may be in the new studio so we'll see how we go um optic and deej 2001 thank you for the follow um we are gonna go over and see where the man uh so please join the raid oh you're kidding me Weatherman, I was about to raid you and you've raided me. <laughs> oh, I have never had that happen. I have never had that happen. Oh, right, we better find somebody else to raid. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Come gamer for gifting three months of tier one to Weatherman. Oh man, the timing on that. Oh right, let's 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 see who else. We might have to go and raid Puma then. <laughs> uh, oh, that is. Absolutely hilarious. Let's go raid Puma and see if uh, see what Puma thinks. Oh, Back. right here we go. Right, I will see you tomorrow night. This is mad. Uh, and God's rabbit O three. Thank you for the follow, and uh, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.